ThyssenGas runs a regional gas transmission grid in Germany. We indirectly supply around 9 million people with gas. We have 4,200 kilometers of gas pipelines, which we regularly monitor. This involves patrolling the pipeline by helicopter every 14 days. It is expensive to do this, so we are always on the lookout for ways to improve the process. And that is how we came across this innovative solution. Schmidt here from the control center in Dortmund. I just saw something on the pipeline with the drone. There's a digger. Can you check if they've been briefed properly? Okay, I'll drive over and take a look. Thyssengas gets around 20,000 inquiries every year about construction work that might impact our pipelines. Around six to 7,000 of these inquiries directly affect us. That's why we were wondering if there were alternatives to patrolling by helicopter. And patrolling by drone seems to be a promising opportunity at the moment. That's why we started a joint project with Deutsche Telekom and DFS. We are talking here about a future market that does not yet exist. It is opening up as a result of these new technologies. There is enormous potential. The basic idea is to fly the drone beyond the operator's line of sight. This delivers real efficiency gains as you do not need a new pilot every 500 meters. That is where our mobile telecommunications network comes in. This large network basically replaces the control unit held in the pilot's hands, which means the drone can be piloted from anywhere. We offer a package deal. This package has all the components needed. It includes the approval, the training, and the connection to the traffic management system for drones. This UTM system ensures the safety of the flight, as well as the real-time transmission of all the camera and sensor images, which the customer can then process as needed. This means we can transmit these image and sensor data to you in real time to use as required. That's an ideal solution. Patrolling by drone has many advantages. A drone is smaller, quieter and cheaper. And increasing the frequency of patrols would raise the safety level. I really enjoy driving this project forward, especially if you consider how important this technology could be, not just for those who operate gas grids, but for anyone who has some form of infrastructure to monitor. That's why I believe this is a technology that we should be pursuing in the future.